Hello, Dr. Carolyn Snodgrass here. This video is about rates and proportion. Always remember the rules don't change, only the numbers do. Let's get started. Before we start with rates and proportion, I want to mention that you're going to be playing with fractions for the most part. You'll also hear the words ratio. Sometimes you'll see a ratio as a fraction, or you'll see this colon mark. Think of the colon mark as a slash in itself. You use rates every day. 65 miles per hour, $12 for two pounds, 100 yards in 15 seconds, and you may see three out of 10 surveyed. Prefer a certain brand of toothpaste. Notice you may hear the words per, for, in, and on. You may hear those words that kind of trigger where your fraction may be created. So let's talk about three ways that we can solve rates. I like to think of it as lowest terms. You may see per unit, and you also may see a decimal. Let's say we have $14 per eight pounds. To do lowest terms, you're gonna divide the top and bottom by the same number. We ignore our units. We're gonna divide the top and bottom, in this case, by two. That's just like we do in reducing fractions. So 14 divided by two is seven, and then eight divided by two is four. Seven dollars per four pounds. Usually we'll see it in the store is written as a slash. Using the same kind of methods, we're going to do one where we do 100 miles in two hours. We want to know how much it is per one unit. Luckily, this one will come out evenly. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by the same number. 100 divided by 2 is 50, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we'll do 50 miles in one hour. When they say per unit, you want your denominator to be a 1. So your answer here will be 50 miles in one hour or you'll say 50 miles per hour. Now decimals. Sometimes it doesn't come out evenly. So let's pretend like you're going to the gym and you're paying a hundred and fifty dollars for 20 visits. So in this case I'm gonna have to do long division. I have a video on how to do long division but I'll just solve it for you. Here my answer is 7.5 so it is going to be seven dollars and fifty cents Per visit. So again, rates are pretty much something you do every day. Now what we're going to do is proportion. Probably familiar with the term proportionate. You're going to compare two items to see if they're equal. So are they proportionate? Basically, on a proportionate, you're looking for equivalent fractions. Here's an example of a proportion. Say for instance, I have a hummingbird feeder and I have one cup of water for four cups of sugar. Say for instance, if I have in my cabinet eight cups of sugar, I need to say how many cups of water. Basically, it's the same thing as an equivalent fraction where I multiply the top and bottom by the same number, it'd be two cups of water. Now what if I want to ask, are these proportionate? So here's one that is. So five times three is 15, three times three is nine. But what if you don't know it right away? You can simply go like this cross multiply these two and write your answer here cross multiply these two and write your answer here are they equal so yes that is proportionate let's try another one is one half proportionate to 25 over 60 you may see this one right away but let's just show you how to do that cross multiply 25 times 2 is 50 cross multiply 1 times 60 is 60 are they proportionate no so those are not proportionate what happens if they don't give you a number? So I use this one a lot in, when I do my, how many miles I can get on my gallon of gas. So in here, say my pickup truck gets 22 miles per one gallon. Say if I put in 15 gallons, if I fill in my gas tank, how many miles can I go? Sometimes this is not easy to see, so we use the same rule over here, but we have to solve for the unknown number, which is x. So x times one is x, 15 times 22 is, I'll have to go down here and multiply. So my answer is 330. Just remember that if it says miles on top, it has to say miles on top on the second one. If it says gallons on bottom, it has to say gallons on the bottom one. Now I'm gonna remove these and move these over. Let's say we have two cups of flour to make 24 cookies. And we want to know how many cups of flour it would take to make 36 cookies. 
So we don't know how many cups of flour there are. So again, like we did before, we're going to cross multiply these two. And we're going to cross multiply these two. Notice x is not by itself. So what you have to do, since 24 times x, you have to do the opposite, which means to divide, to get rid of that 24. This is some algebra. Don't let it scare you. Whatever is next to x, you divide the other side by it. And 72 divided by 24 is 3. So we need 3 cups of flour. Now remember, you do proportions all the time throughout your normal daily activities. Basically what's new to you is using this cross multiplying tool here in order to help you solve the problems.